Here's a ship which has the streamlined form which ocean liners of the future may take. The streamlining is the shape of an object so that it will cause the minimum turbulence of the air passing round. This chart shows clearly the turbulence caused when air moves past the square object. The air stream divides and then breaks into whirls, causing differences in pressures. These differences in pressures cause a drag which impedes forward motion. The next is a slight improvement. The air flows smoothly over the surfaces and breaks only at the rear of the body. The turbulences are less on the round than the square object and yet are still considerable. Here we have the typical streamlined form blunt in front and tapering at the rear and curved throughout its surface. Nature evolved this form a long time ago. The porpoise, one of the fastest things that swims, is a splendid example of nature's streamline. The body, the fins and tail are all curved and have their blunt ends tapering towards the rear. In designing this ship, the streamline principle has been applied to the entire superstructure. This rounded, unbroken surface, from stem to stern, not only reduces wind resistance, but also lessens the water that comes over the bow and stern in heavy weather. The part of a conventional liner above the water line is about as large as a solid block of seven-storied buildings, 900 feet long and 100 feet wide. Tremendous power is required to move this immense mass over 25 miles an hour. Projections like the bridge, deck and lifeboats disturb the flow of air as the ship passes through it, setting up turbulences which reduce the ship's efficiency. The streamlined forms of this superstructure would, it is believed, add at least 8% to the ship's speed. This model of an ocean-going yacht is based on streamlined principles. The deck coverings can be rolled back in fair weather. In the future will no doubt see streamlined ships which will be faster, more comfortable and safer than anything we know today. <laughs>